श्री राम राम रामेति रमे रामे मनोरमे सहस्रनाम तत्तुल्यम राम नाम वरानने Rama is never seen alone in any temple. He is always surrounded by his family. But Hanumanta has temples built just for him. Hanumanta himself would not have approved people considering him as an independent deity. In his own admission and through his actions, Hanumanta shows he is happiest being the servant, that is Dasa. of rama his character and raw power shines through the poem that quality of his was identified rama in their very first encounter rama always reserved best of his praises for hanumanta hanumanta shows that he was well versed in vedas and shastras had knowledge of its application in real life while he approaches rama and lakshmana for the first time in disguise rama could identify his education and character through a series of questions he made after carefully observing the brothers hanumanta seconded that rama and sugriva should be friends and when sugriva was busy with his pleasures hanumanta reminded him that he has to complete the promise made to rama Hanumanta is more popular for his exploits using his sheer physical power crossing the mighty ocean bringing the mountains to save lives all are great achievements but it would be an injustice to Hanumanta to limit him to mere strength he was powerful no doubt but also had intelligence to judiciously use it the combination of power perception patience and perseverance made hanumanta who he was while attempting to cross the sea he had to encounter many difficulties he managed some with aggression and others with wit not wasting his time on elaborate fights he quickly got over the troubles to focus on task in hand Hanumanta was able to completely use his powers in his mission to find Sita. His reasoning while searching Ravana's palace shows how much he had understood about the character of Sita. The way he approached Sita and managed to convince her that he indeed is Rama's messenger shows his presence of mind. He could have returned back once he met Sita. but he decides to stay back he wanted to collect more information about the place and the king so that they be better prepared when they come for the final battle hanumanta was careful enough in his words while speaking with ravana he managed to install fear and awe in the people of lanka through his act of burning down the place He had to narrate the story of his journey twice once to the vanaras who were waiting for him in the banks of the sea and second time when he returned back to rama each time the way he narrates the same episode is different he has a way with words using them judiciously emphasizing on the right moments when vibhishana wanted to take refuge under rama It was Hanumanta who endorsed it when some people were suspicious about Vibhishana. He was also the chosen messenger of Rama to inform Bharata about their arrival to Ayodhya later. Hanumanta proves time and again that he was the best in his group. So it is surprising to see why he was not the king of Vanaras that he chose to be a mere worker. under sugriva's instructions shows his character he was an example of someone who was content doing his work he used all his powers to achieve higher goals but had no ambition of higher positions he was completely immersed 
ಇನ್ ದಾಸಭಾವ ಇನ್ ಪ್ರೇಸಿಂಗ್ ಹನುಮಂತ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಅಪ್ರಿಷಿಯೇಟಿಂಗ್ ರಾಮ ಮೋರ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಹನುಮಂತ ವಾಸ್ ಗುಡ್ ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ವುಡ್ ಬಿ ದಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಟು ಹುಮ್ ಹಿ ಸರೆಂಡರ್ಡ್ ಹನುಮಂತ ವಾಲಂಟರ್ಲಿ ಎಗ್ರೀ ಟು ಬಿ ದಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ರಾಮ ದಟ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ಲಿ ಶೋಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಹನುಮಂತ ವಾಸ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ರಾಮ ವಾಸ್ ಮಚ್ ಸುಪೀರಿಯರ್ ಟು ಹಿಮ್ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಜಾಭ್ಯಾಂ ಪರಿಪಾಲಯಂತ ನ್ಯಾಯೇನ ನಾರ್ಗೇನ ಮಹಿಂ ಮಹಿಷಾ ಗೋ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಣೇಭ್ಯ ಶುಭಮಸ್ತು ನಿತ್ಯಂ ಲೋಕಾ ಸಮಸ್ತ ಸುಖಿನೋ ಭವಂತು